mood lighting is so important when the sun goes down. I love well-lit days. I sometimes like well-lit nights, but a lot of times I just want some mood lighting in my van. Why? Because my LED lights in my Winnebago Travado are either on or they're off. So I create mood lighting in my van in many different ways. In this video, you're gonna see two tips on LED candles, and I'm going to show you where I discovered one of the best candles I've ever seen and I show you where to buy it from a small town merchant in the oldest town in Tennessee. Stay to the very end because she is providing you a 10% discount code for purchasing from that merchant. And if you're one of those impatient types and can't wait to get to that code, look down below in the show notes and we provide video time points so that you can go right to that time point in the video and get that information. What you're about to see is a segment from my weekly RV show on YouTube Live called What's Up Wednesday. Let's join that in progress now. Uh, but here's my van tip for you. And that is about candlelight. I am huge into mood lighting. Why? Because in my Travato, my lights are not dimmable. They are on full bright or they are off. So I'm totally into creating my own mood lighting. And I do it with candlelight. Now, yeah, we're surrounded by a van which is filled with wood and upholstery and propane and you know, really don't want any real candles. So what I've done here is I have created a way to have candles, in quotes, in my van, like this one right here. This is what it looks like kind of in daytime. This is what it looks like at night. It's a little LED flickering flame. It's not bad, but what I discovered is this. This thing is a beauty. This candle looks real. It even smells real because it's a wax bodied. This is what it looks like at night. Um, it's just the coolest, coolest light. Uh, I'm going to show you a few more things here. Um, and what I've done is I put it on this uh, kind of um, devotional thing that I, um, you know, the Sacred Heart of Jesus thing that uh, I found in on Route 66 in New Mexico. And I've screwed it to my um, wardrobe door. And this is what it looks like in the daytime. Are you ready for this? This is what it looks like at night. It is just the coolest thing. And what you can get away with this one is the expensive, inexpensive. It's about two bucks. I got it at Dollar Tree. It is not realistic. And it's got a really expensive battery. It's got the kind of battery that um, is a circular discs one. Um, and they're really pretty expensive. Um, so a special battery and an inexpensive thing. Uh, if you turn it on, there's a little button at the bottom here and, uh, that's what the flame looks like. So it's, it, it kind of twinkles. It does a job. I didn't know any better. Right. Let me zoom back in here for you. Um, but what I discovered is, is this, and this was about 22 bucks. It has a realistic, it's a real wax body. They've cored out the inside it has this really, it's patent pending led flame uses double a batteries which are everywhere and the cool thing is it has a six hour timer so what i can get away with is turning it on at, at dusk and it kind of goes until about midnight and then turns off automatically so it doesn't waste the battery and i can't tell you how cool this thing is i am just infatuated with it um, so much so that i wanted to share this with you so here's the the the, uh, the company that makes the candle I have no idea how you say it. It's U-Y-U-N-I. If you go to their website, you'll see that it's available kind of through a European store. And this is kind of the big tip I wanted to share with you tonight. And I have been so guilty of this. And I owe small merchants across America an apology because I find cool stuff at their store. And then what do I do? I buy it from Amazon or tell you to go buy it from Amazon. And I am ashamed of myself. Because if I hadn't been in this little um, town, in this little store, I would have never discover this candle. Um, I did the same thing here. Um, this actually doesn't link out to Home Depot. They disapprove me <laughs> for linking out. But only because I visited Jonesboro, Tennessee, walking Main Street, I found this store called Noel Decor. And here she is. This is the owner. I called her today. And they said, I want the business to go to you, Main Street USA, not to Amazon. I make no money off of this, but I've got to stop 
finding these cool things in these little towns. And then he's sending you off to Amazon to buy them. So I called Marty. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah. So what I'm recommending is if you want mood lighting in your, in your van, this is the switch right here. Again, it's, it's on or off or timer, which I really like the timer. Um, and it is so cool. I can't turn the lights off in here because the switches are totally different than my van. But look how realistic that thing looks. It is just the coolest thing. I actually want a couple more of these. And because of my permanent table in my van, I, I, I could put these in. Um, I'm going to get a couple more of these. So if you like mood lighting, um, hit up Marty and her store in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We'll put this in the show notes down below tonight. And so you can call her up or Google it. Um, there's her story. Um, they do all this cool Christmas decorating. And um, going forward, when I find these cool things, I have so many cool things in my van that I've found at stores like Marty's that uh, I'm going to give you the direct information to go to them bypassing Amazon. I'm trying to build some income off of Amazon, and it's not fair that I find these cool things like this at Noel in Jonesboro, Tennessee, population uh, hardly any, and then I send it to Amazon. That is not fair to Marty. We need to support small businesses. So that's my pledge going forward. I'll figure out some other ways to make money off these um, Amazon things. Um, Target is probably going to decline me. Walmart declined me. Home Depot declined me. Only Amazon, and that's so small. It's 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 not worth it. I'd much rather go find it at these cool places than share with you where to go do it. You take a few more minutes of your day. I know Amazon's super convenient, but call up uh, Marty at Noel Decor. Uh, check out our website, noeldecor.com. Um, this is not a commercial for them particularly, except that this is the kind of stuff I love to find. Just like this. This is what travel is all about for me. And if I enjoy it, we share it. That's what we do. We learn and we share. You decide. If we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the Class B camper van lifestyle. What we do here is we help you be a better RVer, whether you're no time still researching, part-time taking cool trips, or traveling, more importantly, full-time in a van. That's what I do. If you're into van tours, van products, van tips, you'll be sure and want to subscribe to the channel and not miss a single video. And travel guides, we're gonna take your camper van for a few days. Those are coming soon. Watch for those as well. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate that. Until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on. Cheers.